at Dare to Share conference in Columbus, Ohio, and this is my first time here. I've never been to a Dare to Share conference before. So I am going to be here hanging out and checking it out. Uh, I've been good friends with a lot of Dare to Share guys for a while, but I have actually never been here to one of these. So this is exciting for me, and hopefully for you guys too, but mostly for me. Apparently the uh, Kung Fu Ninja is a popular game around here. So on the count of three, are you ready? One, two, three! Yeah, this is very Pentecostal, very Pentecostal. Okay, ready? One more time. One, two, three! Okay. I want to talk to you about this, because I believe for the average Christian teenager, Jesus is their most embarrassing friend. They won't walk with him in the hallway, so to speak. They won't talk about him during lunch, because they don't want to be associated with Jesus. That's why the average Christian teen does not share their faith. I want you to be willing to get on cool to be associated with Jesus Christ. You know what, for me, the reason why I share with my friends is because I realize there's a payoff. The payoff is experiencing the God of this universe living in and through me as I share with my friends and goes beyond my own inabilities, insecurities, capabilities as I see God work not only in my life but in the lives of my friends. It's a payoff. Jesus says in John 10, 10, I have come that you may have life and life to the fullest. And that's what we're about here at Dare to Share, is enabling you guys to experience life and life to the fullest. You better stop right now. Or, gonna... or what, Tubby? What are you going to do about it, Forrest Gump? I'm going to stop. Oh, I have a knife. Oh, hey. Listen, man, I will cut you. They have Sharpies because you're going you're gonna to walk up to them in just a moment. And you're going to borrow that sharpie and you're going to write the names of those three people that desperately need Jesus in your life. You're going to write their names down. So keep those three names on your hand all weekend. What touched you about this skit most? This is the fact that really you know people that don't know Christ and that how you can be so determined to get out and tell them. What was your favorite part so far? It was probably a skit. That was really good. Yeah, the skit was really good. I, I like that uh, part. I didn't think it would be like a whole session, but it kind of turned out that way, and it, it was good. Yeah. Do you are you feeling like convicted about anything here so far? Yeah. Well, of course. Well, this year really spoke to me about um, what the skit was. How no matter what happened, he was so persistent. With he's my brother. I love him, and that really spoke to me because I have friends that um, I've never even really tried to talk to, and it's just like. They don't know God and they need him. 